Nasty story is. Well, next week it's Horner versus Armstrong. The winner to wrestle, the legendary Jack Briscoe, who, as I understand it, received a bye. One of those three men in the very near future is going to have an opportunity to wrestle Ric Flair in a city to be named for the World Heavyweight Championship. None of them are strangers to me. I respect them all. Jack Briscoe, as you know, no stranger to you, certainly, Gordon. One of the greatest world champions of all time. I believe he held the title for three years. Whoever the man is, remember, and let's get it out front right now. There's only one Ric Flair. Woo! There's only one world champion. There's only one man that called the franchise, and that's me, Daddy. So whichever one of you three it is, Take a look at what you got to walk in the ring against. Thank you very much, Gordon. Thank you, Rick. Let's go to the ring. Brad Armstrong and Ole, what a match that's got to be. Well, it sure will be. If ever you're looking for a scientific match, you're going to find one there because Brad Armstrong, heavyweight champion, and Tim Horner, the two of them are very well matched, 240 pounds apiece, I'd guess. Uh, very scientific, very clean wrestlers. Should be a great match. Yeah, as a four-pound differential, the Armstrong's 236. I'll tell you what, there's one that I'd like to see, a 60-minute match, and I really would. Boy, what a, what a pair of competitors. Well, I'll tell you, you know, when you talk about wrestling and you want to look at the best in wrestling, you're certainly going to be able to see it right there because both of those men have had the high school career and the college background that's necessary to be a great amateur wrestler, and they've carried that right straight through into professional wrestling, and now we're looking at two men uh, are the, who are going to meet each other, and remember this, whoever wins in that match is going to be going against another man who certainly epitomizes professional wrestling and scientific professional wrestling at its best, We're talking about former world heavyweight champion Jack Briscoe. Right. And you know, I can only uh, stop and think in, ret in retrospect, too, when we're talking about this of the over the years of 40 years now that Paul Jones has brought uh, such outstanding wrestling to the state of Georgia. Well, I want to say right now, once again, uh, to a man that we think an awful lot of and an awful lot about, the Dean of Professional Wrestling Promoters, uh, Paul Jones. And Paul, I want to say hello to you again, and I also want to make certain that I mention Mrs. Paul Jones, who's been such a help to us all through the years. Uh, our best to you, Mrs. Jones, and to you, Paul, Dean of Wrestling Promoters. We'll be seeing you soon. Mr. Ellering has joined us here at the desk. You know something, Noli Anderson? No, I don't think you do know something, but this has been the worst day for the Legion of Doom since October 24th, 1929. Since the crash of Wall Street, Ole Anderson, never have we suffered so much, and it's all because of the likes of you, and I've had it. I'll tell you what you do. You're 0 for 2 today. Have a seat and watch a real man at work. Yeah, we'll watch you be 0 for 1, won't we? I've had it with this. You know, I'd just like to be able to get Mr. Paul Ellering's name on this deal. Things haven't been going too well for him. Right now, let's see if we take a look at the world champion in action. Absolutely. Two times world heavyweight champion Ric Flair is in the ring, so let's go there now, please. And uh, there you see him, the nature boy, Ric Flair, 240 pounds, calls himself the franchise, and indeed he is. Boy, it's hard to be humble, Gordon, when you look like this, brother. You just heard the statement, it's hard to be humble when you look like this. Okay, Rick Flair, and as I've said so many times before, here's a man who had it all from birth. He was literally born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Uh, his uh, father, an extremely successful physician. Rick could have chosen just about any career he wanted. He has always been a great athlete in uh, football, in wrestling. Went on from private schools to attend the University of Minnesota, where he became All-State in uh, collegiate wrestling. Was also a member of the Golden Gophers football team. He lived in uh, Minneapolis for a uh, number of years. Now uh, officially makes his home in Charlotte, North Carolina. And to all of you Minneapolitans uh, who may be uh, watching right now, a special hi. My hometown. All right. Flair keeping the pressure. you something if there's anyone that i know of that is capable of an upset i'm not for scientific wrestling gordon 
He has all those capabilities, and uh, Rose could be an upsetter, though. Claire keeping that arm trapped. Look at Rose turn into his man and Flair countering him. Flair, beautiful float over. Keeping a loose ride, posting that arm. Brother, uh, don't ever think for a minute this man doesn't keep himself completely polished at all times. Post that far arm. A little too close to the ropes. Almost had him in a pinning combination. Flair is the world's best. Flair is also one of the first to let you know about it. But, like I've heard him say before, Gordon, people who are conceited think they're good, that I know I'm good. Rose hurtled through those ropes. And he's got some problems coming up. Referee Nick Patrick tolling the count. Carolina Blue today, Daddy. Carolina Blue. Carolina Blue is what he's wearing. By the way, we certainly want to wish and welcome Pembroke, Georgia to the Turner Cable family. Pembroke, Georgia, now uh, an official member of the Turner Broadcast family. Say a special hi to all the good folks in Pembroke. Hope you're enjoying the program. Rose back on his feet once again. Ric Flair, the world champion. Caught in the midsection, caught on the side of the jaw by Rose. Rose beginning to really move on Flair now. And Rose, who feels he's taken a lot, suddenly coming back and beginning to dish it out. Flair. All of a sudden says, okay, two-minute warning. And brother, I'll tell you, nobody does it better when he gets on. There's that the characteristic phrase of Flair. Deep, deep, double underhook. Into a souffle. Now we go to school. Now we go to school is that the catchphrase of the world champion as he goes to the figure four. Beautiful application. The only man I've ever seen apply the figure four any more or any better than that or as good as that or what have you is former world heavyweight champion Jack Briscoe. He won the World Heavyweight Championship using the figure four. And uh, we may be seeing that again in slow motion. I uh, watch this, a deep double underhook. Beautifully executed souffle. Now, comes down on the body. Watch the machine-like precision that he moves into the uh, figure four. That puts pressure on four points of the leg and the uh, ankle and the knees. And believe you me, you just don't escape from it. 